So, so, Bishop Lamar Whitehead, what do they call him, the, the bling bishop, has been sentenced to nine years for scamming, fraud, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> what y'all think about that? Question. So what's the difference between a bishop, a pastor, and a preacher? I'm not sure. I mean, like, I, I, I never been, like, I didn't grow up in the church. I never been, never been big on, never been much into religion. And then, you know, yeah, not a religious person. So, you know, and that didn't, you know, that started, like, I just wasn't brought up that way. And then... You know, when I reached like 13 years old, I start getting, you know, information that kind of changed my perspective. Like, you know, I didn't feel no way about religion one way or the other, period. But, you know, the information, now I started to feel such a way. Now, I'm not here to judge nobody that's religious. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's y'all. It's not me, you know, even though I know you know, <laughs> religious people tend to, um, you know, say that, you know, I don't know, they kind of make fun of quote unquote spiritual people or people who believe in a universe and all of that, whatever. I'm gonna call the truth right. I'm calling the truth right now for this conversation. <clears throat> and let me just start by, hold on, wait a second, my, my bad. Welcome to the nation, y'all. Monster Nation. I'm your, your your tour guide, your host, your president. I'm the landlord, the owner, tenant, the janitor. I'm off the damn floor. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, and leave a super thanks if you're trying to be a tax-paying citizen of the nation. Best nation is donation. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, is like, when I first heard about... All right. Do y'all remember when the bishop got robbed on camera? When, when he got robbed on camera. Um, did any of y'all think that was staged? Because I did. I did. Um, but what do I know, right? So, back to what I was saying. <clears throat> Me not really being into, you know, into religion like that, I'm able to watch this you know, I'm able to, I was able to watch this whole situation unfold without having the, the visceral emotions that a religious person might have. You understand what I'm saying? Like, when somebody attacks hip-hop, I get an immediate, it's a natural reaction. Like, hip-hop is, you know, some people have referred to hip-hop as a religion, right? I'm not, not debating that right now, right? But if somebody attacks that, I do have an, an innate reaction like that. I, like whether I react, whether I show y'all my reactions is, is is one is you know that's one thing. I may or may not do that, but I feel something, right? I don't feel that way when I see somebody when I when I see a quote unquote bling bishop. I'm like, oh, this is it's like I'm watching a movie. I'm like, this is interesting. Have you ever? See, I'm, fr I'm from Brownsville. Brownsville is one of those hoods that is notoriously dangerous, right? I came up a certain way. I don't need to go into all that. I say all that to say that from time to time, I root for the villain in the movie. And not even because Brownsville people call ourselves villains. Just because... You know, you're watching the movie, you root for the bad guy sometimes. The bad guy is the most interesting dude in the movie. You know what I'm saying? It every We all we all understand the allure to the bad guy, right? Okay, so do we? Do we or not? Do I need to go into that? I'm not going to. I that's that's gonna take me too far off topic. Um and plus I kinda like, I kind of got skin in this movie. Pause. I mean, pause protesters. 
get your ass out of here, right? Like, I know some people, I know a few people who know the bishop personally. Like, a couple of couple of dudes was locked up with him. You understand what I'm saying? And <clears throat> what I've heard about the about the bishop on his bid, because he's done time, like in like I believe up north, like in like in prison, not just jail, right? Like he was in jail being, I mean, it, I could be mistaken. He could have just did jail time or whatever, or he could have did prison. He was, <laughs> he was one of the ones in jail. Like he wasn't no, he was the furthest thing in the world from a pushover. Like he was in there getting it shaking. Like do one of those people in jail that were problematic or at least Maybe not. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm putting too much on it. Maybe he wasn't problematic, but he definitely put in work. You understand what I'm saying? Like he did things that some could, cons could would consider scary in jail. Like you know, if, if you ain't no, <laughs> you ain't no. If you ain't never been to jail, if you can't fight, if you ain't built like that, you find yourself in jail. This is. He's one of them people that will worry you. I'll just say that, right? Or at the very least, somebody you cannot play with in there, right? For me to see this person doing what he's doing, like, because I had to first assess for myself whether I thought he was, whether he really believed what he was preaching. You understand what I'm saying? But... To me, there was a part of me that didn't believe he believed what he was preaching. And I felt like if that's the truth, then this dude is an excellent stick up artist. You know, Brownsville is Brooklyn's robbery capital. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I'm not on that now. I'm 50, right? But I'm just saying. There's certain familiarities that we gravitate to, right? Or whatever. So, like I said, as I'm watching this movie, rooting for the villain because I kind of know the guy. I actually met him one time. One time, um, Millie, my brother Millie, D.O.D., Millie Blanco. Salute to you, bro. Babe, bro. Um, he was getting... He was being awarded he was he was getting he was receiving some sort some some sort of award for being an inspirational and positive you know youth in the hood right in Brooklyn like it was politicians there Zab Judah was there Mano was there um I was there you know supporting bad bro um and on my way to this thing I didn't know it was gonna be in a church Right, I thought you know I'm I'm focused on the award. I'm hearing the politician, borough pre whoever. I don't want to miss you know misrepresent nobody, right? Politician dude. I'm all I, I'm thinking it's going to be someplace else, not in a church. I'm like, oh, a church. <clears throat> oh, five percent of me start triggering. I'm like, a church. I ain't I ain't going. I don't want a church. I gotta go in a church. Anyway, I go in the church, right, and. They give out all these awards, and the bishop is on stage, and he preaching. He does a whole sermon. <laughs> he actually, he actually saves some niggas in there, like, <laughs> yo, first of all, burst the ball. He passed around the collection plate, and specifically told niggas, and asked niggas for nothing less than $50, right? He's looking at the little homies, my little homie Bleezy, one of the deep, one, one of Millie partner, one of one of Millie partners, Bleezy D O D. He like, come on, Bleezy, put. I know you got some of that D O D money. Put some of that in the back. I'm like, this, this. <laughs> I was amazed, but, but like I said, I'm watching the movie, right? You understand what I'm saying? He's, 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 uh, he's telling the tale. He, his, his spiel is. 
he's the hip hop preacher, right? He's speaking to hip hop. He's communicating with hip hop through terms that hip hop understand. This is why he dresses the way he dresses. This is the way he. This is why he talks the way he talks because hip hop is the most powerful force in the world right now, in a manner of speaking, right? Everything filter. Every, you understand what I'm saying? We, we. I don't have to explain to y'all all of the all of the different arenas, venues, platforms, and dynamics that draw from hip hop every day, right? Okay, so, um. So he like so I would I'm come to the people that way. I'm like, oh sh I'm like, this is a that's a good little story. That's a that's a that's solid right there. That's a solid story if he really believed what he's saying. You understand what I'm saying? I watched that man save he saved individuals in there. Had people if you come on stage and you blah 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 blah, you're saved. And I watched gangsters go up there and I was disappointed at the gangsters that I watched go up there. I digress. I'm <laughs> oh, man. So, all of this happened. Like, I mean, like, I seen this with my own two eyes. Like, he's on stage. He's preaching to the people. Um, he's letting them know, like, yo, I was, you know, I was in prison before. Like, I was putting him, he let niggas know. I put him, he called out my homeboy. Like, tell him, like, that. I see you. He's like, he can tell you. Ask him. My man sitting there like, <clears throat> so then we fast forward. Let's let's fast forward. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna save my homeboys and all kinds. Of <laughs> um, and I don't know. Some time passes by, and come to find out, you know, he's on TV. He's on the news, getting robbed. I didn't believe he was really getting robbed. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm having a conversation with one of my homeboys, right? Like I said, I know a few niggas that know, right? That was locked up with him. I'm having a conversation with one of, matter of fact, I don't think this homie was locked up with him, right? But we like, like, yo, the bishop got blah, 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 blah. Niggas like, word. He said something crazy. I was like, I was like, man, I think he got himself. And he's like, word. Um, but was this when he got it? Was this when he got it? So, so let me just say, let me. I think it's safe to assume we had that conversation. But then after that, he got arrested, right? And I think me and the homie reconvened in the conversation or whatever, or something like that. And he was, and he got arrested, right? And I was like, yo, this nigga is the goat. And my man was like, yo, goats don't get caught, right? I'm like, bro, listen, I bet you he going bail out, right? Like only like when you do it, listen, B. I'm like this nigga is a violent felon, right? This nigga is a violent, <laughs> this a violent felon, convicted violent criminal, and he got out of jail and is making millions off of white Jesus. Like my nigga, I'm like yo, he. I'm like this nigga's this. This is if this. Mind you, it's a movie. Like I'm, I, I, I'm, I swear I don't want to be. Di I don't mean to disrespect. I'm just giving y'all a, a a window inside my brain and conversations that I might have with my homeboys that that ain't really meant for this right now. But I'm gonna tell y'all anyway because it don't incriminate nobody and every and what's done is done already, right? But I'm just saying, as a nigga looking at this like a movie, I'm like. This nigga's the greatest, right? He like, son, he like the goat, he like goats don't get caught, son. I'm like, bruh, I'm like, this nigga is a convicted violent felon, did a whole decade or something like that, come home and get millions off of white Jesus? Come on, B. I'm like, and if, and, and what, with, like with any with with any crime, if you committing if you living a life of crime and you committing crime every day, jail is just part of the game. So you had to you had to you had to know that was coming. And if you and if you prepared you know if you prepared for that, then you should be all right. Now, had he not bailed out, 
then I'd have been like, yo, he ain't prepared for nothing and he really hurt me. But he bailed right out and however, however, however it went. I don't know if he got bailed out or if he got ROR'd or whatever. But he was free until now or, or until recently or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure what the situation is. I just, like, I hadn't heard about him a lot. All I know is the headlines today and the videos were saying is he's sentenced. I'm like, word? Sentenced? I ain't even know he was convicted. And you know what I'm saying? Because they wasn't, you know, it ain't make it to my timeline. But um, they saying he's sentenced, you know, in New York, you don't get sent, convicted and sentenced at the same time. You know, that's, that's not how it go. Um, at least not, not, not when I was last going through it. You know what I'm saying? Not, the last, not since I checked. Um, but yeah, so... You know, nine years, is that a lot of time? It depends on how old you are. When you a kid, when you young, nine years is very long. I'm not, it's not to say nine years don't, even to an adult, right? Don't know grown up in their 40s and 50s want to go away for nine years, right? I remember when I was in trouble and they offered me 15 and I was like, you crazy. Oh, I got, y'all made up my mind for me. I have to go to trial because there's no way I'm taking that 15, right? What was that in 2008 when they offered me that? I'd be out by now. You understand what I'm saying? But that still is bull. That's that's wild long. Let's just say this though, just to give you a just to give you a, a an adult, because I believe as you get older, everything shrinks, including time, right? But um, let's just give just to, just to give you an adult perspective on how long nine years actually is. If I'm not mistaken, P passed away nine years ago. And that shit felt like it was yesterday. So, does he win? I don't know. If he make it out and still got some cash, I think he do. I'm not happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that what he did was you know, let me just go on, on record and say it's foul what he did. You understand what I'm saying? If if you understand what I'm saying, like it's foul. You know what I mean? But you know, as a person watching the movie, I'm like, it's the red moolie yelling for the villain in the movie. I'm like, I'm like a biscuit in a two piece. All right, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. If you made it to the end of um, made it to the end of this video, let me get four sets of prayer hands. <laughs> Um, yeah, rock on, rock on. Oh, yeah, leave a super thanks if you're feeling generous, if you're trying to be a, a taxpaying citizen of the nation. Like, comment, subscribe, or leave a cash app. The cash app tag will be in the in the um, description, right along with a link to my um, my band camp where you can get music if you hearing me talk makes you feel like you want to hear me rap. All right, so rock on, rock, go on.